What you guys, today we're taking a look at some of the signs your computer may be infected with a virus or malware. And we're going to go through some of these in this video. So first up, let's take a look at the network. Some antivirus programs will allow you to scan your network to see if there's any suspicious activity on your local network. You can check programs if you've got something like ESET. This will have a built-in tool which will be called Network Inspector. It's a great way of detecting malware on your network to see whether you have any suspicious activity, which is basically calling home or receiving more malware onto your PC. Once malware gets on your PC, it will basically call home and basically drop down more Trojans and more malware onto your computer. And this is how you get heavily infected. So checking something like your network is a really good starting point. You can see I have no threats found on my local network, which is good. Now, if you don't have an ESET uh, antivirus program, which has this uh, feature built in, you can use your local uh, task manager. Go down here, right click on the start button, go to task manager, open up your task manager window. And then what you can do here is go to the performance tab and take a look at the ethernet or wireless uh, connection on here. And you'll basically see a lot of send and receive items from here. If you're not doing anything on your computer and your computer's not updating or doing anything like that in the background, malware uses a lot of bandwidth. Sometimes you'll see heavy bandwidth being used, and this is because it's sending and receiving data from there. So you've got to be very, very careful and take a look at this section. So you may be wondering what is using uh, your network what is using up all your resources so basically you could go to the processes area here and take a look under the apps and background processes to see whether there's something visible here that is using it and this will show up here not all the time so you're looking for suspicious uh, files which are using a lot of cpu a lot of memory a lot of disk usage and a lot of network either one of those or all of them and you'll see them coming up inside here now if they're hidden you can use other software, which I'll show you a little bit later, which will be able to detect these uh, processes that are using all of your resources. Another area is using your high disk usage. Some malware will really ramp up and use a lot of your disk usage for some reason. And this means that your PC will slow down. This is where we will look here. And you can see there is a lot of read and writes to the drive, and it will slow the PC right down to a grinding halt. And this is what malware tends to do. So take a look inside the disk area and check out to make sure that it's not malware running in the background that's using up a lot of your disk usage. Okay, another area to take a look at is your memory. Some malware will use a lot of memory and this will climb to quite a lot of memory usage and slow the PC down. This is why when malware gets on the system, the PC runs slow, either a you're using a lot of CPU, a lot of memory, or a lot of disk usage, or a bit of both. And this is the thing, the malware can really grind a PC to virtually a halt, and it will be really, really slow. You won't be able to do much on the PC, and that's because you've got a lot of malware that's using all up your resources. So you can check these areas here. These are important to check, and uh, this is where I would start to check first to see whether you've got any sort of suspicious behavior. And there's a built-in tool in Windows as well, which can be quite useful, called Resource Monitor. Now, there is better options available out there, which I'll talk about in a second, but this is another area you can look for without installing any software, and this will give you a good overview of what's happening to your computer. You can see processes with network activity, and this will all be listed here. So if you've got some sort of suspicious file or some rogue file, which you don't know what it is, and it's using a lot of your resources, it will show up here and you can see send and receive bytes. This means it's having a lot of network activity. Now we've got Discord there. You can see it's uh, sending and receiving information as it would because it's a voice and a chat sort of uh, application, but you would get the idea here and you can get an idea of what is actually using up all of your resources. So this is another area you can check out here um, and make sure that it's all clear. So if you have got a slow PC, it's not always related to malware, but it's always nice to check every once in a while if they've got some sort of peculiar behavior happening on your computer. So you can see here, it does list quite a bit of information and you can even uh, break this down a little bit more 
and just con concentrate on one main file. Now, obviously, a better program would be something like Process Explorer. This is a super powerful piece of software. It's made by Microsoft, and basically, you can uh, come in here and take a look at processes. This will show some of the hidden processes that are running here. You can literally right click on any of the process here and you can kill the process. You can also kill the process tree. You can suspend that process, which will put it to sleep, which will allow you to try and locate it and remove it. You can also check it on virus total. This will tell you whether the file is a rogue file or a virus file. And you can see here, this is verified, obviously, because it's Discord. But if it was a nasty piece of malware, it's not going to have a verified uh, file. It's going to be unknown, and it's basically going to show up on Virus Total, and it will show you that this file is malicious. And you can then do something about it and remove it. Now, normally, you can put this asleep and then go to the location and remove it. If you want to see a malware removal video, let me know in a comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the start button here and we're also going to go in here and type regedit. Now, some malware will start making registry changes to your registry to stop you from opening up certain tools, system tools, which will help kill that virus. And it doesn't let you use things like command prompt and it will block out control panel and a bunch of other useful tools which you can use to find malware and trojans and rootkits on your system and it won't let you use these features. Sometimes it will block them. So that is another little telltale sign. Also, you may get your antivirus program keep detecting malware on your computer, and this is another sign that you've got something on your computer. Sometimes some antivirus programs struggle to remove that malware, and it keeps coming back, and this is another common problem. So don't ignore uh, warnings when you see your antivirus uh, flashing up, saying you've got a a threat found. Another problem that you may get is that malware can block your antivirus program from working. It can disable it and it can keep opening and closing it and stopping it from being used to detect it. And this is another problem that some clever malware can do. It can actually block or disable your antivirus program as well. You can also get crashes on your PC, which is really bad as well because you'll get blue screen of death and this is malware causing it. You may get annoying ads or pop-ups or some sort of uh, fake threat or fake antivirus telling you that your PC is infected. This is another sign that you may have adware or some sort of infection on your computer. So error message codes and things like this popping up randomly on your PC, these are normally gener generated by some malicious or rogue program. Also, another thing that can happen is your internet will stop working, or you may be getting redirected to uh, other sites that you've not searched for. Another thing that can happen is you may have a proxy added to your browser where you'll be getting uh, redirected to advertising sites and things like that, or unsavory sites. These are the sort of things that can happen. And this is how you can uh, detect whether your PC is infected with malware. Hope these uh, sort of videos help you out. If they do, then give the video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments section below what sort of videos you want to see or whether you want to see some malware removal videos. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you on a Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.